went out for a little shed hunt today. <clears throat> I'm actually going in to film, um, hopefully some wildlife, but found this guy on the way in. Pretty old, bleached like crazy, but I'm still happy to find it. Well, you won't believe what just happened. I, I can't, I can't believe it right now, but it looks like this bull died and he shed one of his antlers and then once he got eaten or whatever, the other antlers on top of, of the shed antler. So let's pick it up here. That is cool. Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. The other side, I bet, fits just like a glove. Un unbelievable. It does too. Just like that. That is cool. Ho oh, ho. I've never found one shed on top of, of another, but not only that, I mean, one sheds a shed and one sheds on the stall. So that is, that is cool. Oh, that is so sick. Well, I believe this is what? 16 and 17th antler for the 2015 uh, year. But that is just, that is some of the coolest thing ever. I can't believe that. It fits just like a glove, just like that. That's how it was. And then this guy died on top of it. <laughs> That's cool. Awesome. April Fool's Day today. And uh, I'm not fooling you, but that is the coolest find I've ever found. So, pretty stoked. This is what, fourth, fourth antler of the day. And uh, keep it going strong here. They're all old. So I'm hoping to find some good fresh ones in here. Um, from the sign, let's promising. So keep going here and uh, hopefully find some more. Well, we're out here shed hunting. It's April Fools today, and uh, I'm two on the board now. Here's my second, which is pretty cool. It's a little drop kind of already started. It's chewed fairly bad, but what do you do? I just get in here earlier when they're fresh. <laughs> this guy's probably, shed's probably uh, two or three years old. But uh, yeah, I'll keep going. Hopefully we'll find some fresh guys. Maybe this guy with a bigger drop time. Oh. Man, this has been a great day for me. This is number five. This is my fifth shed um, for April Fool's Day. April. April, April 1st, I guess, 2015. I'm super stoked with this shed. We've got big sheds in this area before and we, we might have the match to this one. It's old, but it's big. So, my biggest shed. <laughs> Stuck in the willows here. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. What a gorgeous antler. Ho oh, ho. Oh. That's big. I just can't. So many willows, eh? I can't get over that. Yeah, I mean, where he shed too, like this area is really really prone to moose I mean so much willows and I just love that man big seven point I am stoked by far the biggest elk I've ever found and hopefully I can match it up after uh, elk but I'm actually also just filming animals. Um, I came along this trail and found this shed. Would have been a pretty nice five point if he wouldn't have got chewed so much, but 
really old shed. Can't remember what, uh, how many it is for me this year. Probably uh, 14, I think, maybe, for the year. But uh, I believe my brother actually has the match to this one, and, and he's a lot taller because he wasn't chewed, but still pretty cool, and at least I'm on the board, so we'll keep going here and see if we can't pick up a fresh elk shed. Hey guys, it's November 8th, uh, 2015, and I was just out doing some filming and coming through this this old logging block here, landing, I uh, stumbled upon this little guy. Cute little buck. It looks like he's been sitting there for a while. Not very good genetics. He's pretty heavy for his size, but pretty cool yet. Yeah. 